Hello again. It's Sunday, which means it's time for my booktube shoutouts. So, let's just get on to the shoutouts. First person I'm going to shout out is Sophie Lane Reeds. I watched her August book haul. She had a couple of interesting books. Talked about The Immortalist. Talked about a sci-fi book called The Soldier. Uh, another book called Witch Sign. Another book that really sounded interesting called The War in the Dark, which was touted as a magic civil war story set in the 1960s. So that sounds really interesting as well. And again, just like all the other booktubers that I shout out here, I really liked the way she did her video and had a great personality and a person I definitely think you should check out. That is Sophie Elaine Reeds. Next person I'm going to talk about is Sabrina Everywhere. I watched her giant book haul. Had a bunch of Brandon Sanderson books. Uh, has Strange to Dreamer, which I actually just ordered in the Barnes and Noble uh, half price book sale. So I'm going to I'm going to probably be reading that sooner or later. She also talked about the Raven Cycle series. She talked about Snow Crash and Necromancer. I haven't read a good cyberpunk story in a while, um, but I, I've read those books. They both were actually really good books. And again, just really like the way she put her videos together. Definitely somebody I think you should check out. That is Sabrina Everywhere. Next person I'm going to talk about is A Bookish Weekend. I watched her August book haul. She had Sea Witch, which I also bought as well, along with Sea Fire as well. And these Rebel Waves. She had a book called Beneath the Citadel and another book called Easy Prey. Sounded really interesting. She had Toil and Trouble there as well. That, that short story collection that sounded really interesting. And again, just really nice video. Really want to see more from this booktuber. That is a bookish weekend. Next person I'm going to talk about is Reed and Giggles. I watched her August wrap up. Really nice collection of books. She had this one book called Her Every Fear, which sounded good. She had the uh, three books in the uh, Every Heart of Doorway series, Every Heart of Doorway, Down Among the Sticks and Bones, and Beneath the Sugar Sky. I do want to pick those up. She also talked about Vicious, which I really loved, and The Darker Shade of Magic that she had in her wrap-up as well. Again, really nice style, really enjoyed watching her videos, and I look forward to seeing more from Reed and Giggles. Next person is Kendall Cully. I watched her August wrap-up. She talked about this one book called Hillbilly Elegy which sounded really good. She talked about a graphic novel called This One Summer. She talked about another book called The Glass Castle which sounded really good as well. Just again really nice personality. Really great presence in front of the camera. Definitely somebody I think you should check out. That is Kendall Cully. Next person we're going to talk about is Library Scented Life. I watched her What I Read in August wrap up. She had a couple of really good books. She talked about Sharp Objects by uh, Gillian Flynn. I actually have Gone Girl on, on audio and I want to read that and see what the whole fuss about Gillian Flynn is but sounds like a really interesting book. She also talked about Children of Blood and Bone which I love. I thought it was a great book. She is a fan of Stephen King. So anybody who's a fan of Stephen King, I'm definitely going to talk about. And again, just really nice personality. And I'm looking forward to seeing more videos from Library Scented Life. Next person I'm going to talk about is Pat and Books. I watched her August wrap-up as well. And she read a bunch of books, as you can see in that, that August wrap-up picture. A huge amount of books. And one thing I liked about Pat and Books is there were a couple of books that she didn't like in her wrap-up. And she was really good at describing what she didn't like about the books. She's pretty detailed in really breaking down why she didn't like certain parts of, of the books that she talked about and it was really refreshing to see somebody being really honest about parts that she didn't like and being really articulate about that. Even I sometimes have trouble actually articulating how well I like or dislike a book so I really appreciated her, her wrap up. Thought she did a great job. Definitely somebody I want to check out more often so that is Pat and Books. Next book tubers I'm going to talk about are the Tea Hags. I watched a September TBR. A lot of interesting books in there. They talked about Children of Blood and Bone. They talked about Annihilation, which I do want to read one day. Talked about a, a book called Cult X, which sounds really interesting. And again, just really nice personality. They played off each other really well. I always like to see teams on, on BookTube. Definitely a group that I think you should check out. Those are the tea hags. Next person I'm going to talk about is A Book Lover's Life. I watched her summer 2018 book haul. She talked about The Woman in the Window, which I actually do have on Kindle because it was cheap on Kindle and I haven't read it yet, but I do want to read it one day. She also talked about Sea Witch, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I've been hearing all over the place. I do have to pick that up one day. Along with The Diviners, which is another book that I got on my radar. When I see it cheap, I'll probably pick it up. She talked about When Dimple Met Rishi and did really enjoy it. She actually said she read it and really enjoyed it. Just, again, 
Really nice video, really enjoyed her style and the way she presented herself. Definitely a person I think you should check out. That is a book lover's life. And the last person I'm gonna talk about is Book Bubbles. I watched her much delayed book haul. She had Wicked in there, which I just called as well a little while ago. She had Pretend I'm Dead, a post-apocalyptic love story. Um, she also talked about The Woman in White, which is a classic that I should read that I haven't read. And again, just really nice style. Really enjoyed the video and a really interesting book too, but I think you should check out that is Book Bubbles. And those are all of the shout outs I'm gonna be doing for this video. Again, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks again for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.